The path to the Supreme Court, it's not a path I knew I would take at all. It happened one stepping stone at a time. In junior year of high school, in a civics class, we started studying courtrooms and the court system. That was interesting. And we took a field trip to the Sacramento Superior Court one day, and we watched a bit of a trial, and that was interesting. I just gravitated to it from there. It made sense to me to come to Salem and to the seat of state government to study law. Willamette's right across the street from all of that, so you're exposed to it from the time you're a law student. I've had a really, really fortunate career, and a lot of it was luck. As of 1982, two years after I became a lawyer, the Oregon Supreme Court had its first woman, Betty Roberts. Judge Graber became the next woman after Judge Graber, Judge Leeson. When Justice Leeson retired, the governor filled the position with another man. Oregon found itself one of only two states in the nation with no woman on its court. So there was a whole lot of energy in Oregon to have a woman step into that race. And I was well positioned. I had a lot of experience. I had been Solicitor General. I was on the Court of Appeals. So I had this big heart to heart with my partner and I talked to Betty Roberts. And the next thing I knew, it was kind of like somebody pushed me out of the airplane. I just had to pull the parachute and keep going. And I won. <laughs> Achieving that felt like a special accomplishment for me and all of my women peers. I wasn't the first woman on the court, but I was the first that got there through a contested election. And I was an open lesbian. And I feel a great sense of pride in having been able to do the things I did without shying away from it. Receiving the Distinguished Alumni Citation for a Professional Achievement Award means something special to me. My time at Willamette shaped my career and it became the natural launching point for me. It's flattering and humbling and this is just a really proud moment.